All right, in this video, we're going to go ahead and solve this equation. So um, we have a multi-step equation with variables on both sides. This is a linear equation. So let's start by looking at what we need to do first. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and distribute this 12. So I'm going to distribute the negative 12 to my x. So that's going to be negative 12x. I'm then going to distribute the negative 12 to negative 12 which is going to give me a positive 144. I then want to go to the right side. I'm going to distribute this 9, or I should say negative 9, and that's going to give me a negative 9. Then I'm going to distribute it to the 7x, and that's going to give me a negative 63x. Once I'm done here, since there's no like terms to combine on either side, I want to move all my variables to one side, and I want to move all my numbers to the other. Now, what I want you to keep in mind is we want to keep the variable positive. So if we want to keep the variable positive, we can do so by adding 63x to both sides. Keep in mind, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to balance it out on the other side. So this is going to give me 0, so they cancel out. And then now if I take 12 away from 63, that's going to leave me with 51 x and it's positive. The next thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and move this 144 over. So the way I do that is inverse operations. So I'm going to subtract 144. That gives me 0. And then I'm also going to subtract it from this side. So minus 144. And I'm going to draw a line just so you can see that we're kind of keeping things separate on our equation. So negative 9 and negative 144, if we put that together, it's going to give me negative 153. So if we ignore our zeros and just bring down our values that are meaningful, we have 51x is equal to negative 153. So now we just need to go ahead and divide this. So I want to get x by itself, and the way to get x by itself is I have to undo this operation. So this is 51x, and if I want to undo 51 times x, because remember our coefficient multiplies to our variable, that's its purpose. We're going to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we're going to divide out 51 from both sides, and we have x is equal to, in the end, negative 3. And that's our final answer. And this has one solution. In case you're wondering what that means, I think we need to understand what one solution means. When we have two equations that are set equal to each other, because that's what we have here. This is a, uh, a set of linear equations. So if we wanted to look at this graphically, I could draw a graph over here for you. And notice this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis. And since x is negative 3, that one solution is the point at which my graphs cross. So if we were to draw this out graphically, let's imagine that this point right here is negative 3 on the x-axis, then my graphs would cross right at negative 3. And that's what one solution means. One solution just means that we have our x value in which our two graphed lines are going to cross or what we would call our solution last year when you're doing eighth grade math. So keep in mind, this is visual. Even though this is an equation that we're solving for and we're getting a value, it can be represented graphically.